Hello Eurovision friends, thank you so much for coming to my channel Eurovision Histories. Today we're talking about the Lithuanian entry for Eurovision 2024. It was chosen yesterday and won against the Rube, among other things. And it is Sylvester Belt with the song Luke Telk. I've had the song stuck in my head after listening to it together with the Estonian entry. So we'll see which one of the two will win in the end. And um, by the way, this is kind of how I look if I let my hair grow out. I'm not going to do that. So in this video, I will look at different aspects of the song and performance, giving points from zero to five, even though I don't think in this case I will give any zeros. And then we'll have an overall rating as well. I also have a prediction on how Lithuania might do at Eurovision, which is more objective. This is more my subjective rating of the song. And then I also have your comments and your votes from the community tab of my channel. If you want to participate in that, you have to subscribe to the channel. Please do so. Okay, so the first thing I always talk about are the lyrics of the song. And here they are, again, very interesting. I love that they are in Lithuanian. I think it's an interesting language, a bit like Estonian as well, a sound that you don't often hear. And so I love, love, love that Lithuanian is back at Eurovision, even though we had Chuto Tuto last year. But I mean, now the whole song is in Lithuanian. It is kind of a very dark mood. When I read the lyrics, there's a lot of monotony, kind of being in the treadmill, not being happy about your life, falling behind a little bit, waiting for things to happen, not really being active. He has said himself that the song is kind of an inner monologue. And so I want to look at some of the lyrics with you. So he starts by saying one day and again another. It seems like here, but it stopped. I go there, I go here. And when the night falls, starts again. So there's a bit of monotony. There is this feeling that you don't really know what to do with your life. You go here, you go there. And that is something that a lot of people can relate to, especially at his age and my age, I guess. And then he also sings, am I still alive? And if that's an inner monologue, he is asking himself in a way, do you recognize me still? The sun isn't rising. Tell me, will you stay near? Kind of very dark, moody lyrics here. He seems to be almost in a depression in a way. The sun doesn't rise. He's in this very dark mood. And then he continues. And this is the chorus of the song, the look telk, look telk. Wait for a little bit, wait for a little bit, just one more minute, wait a bit. And this is repeated several times, of course, during the song. And I think it's amazing that you can put wait for a little bit into one word in Lithuanian. Uh, explain that to us Lithuanians in the comments, because I think that's really interesting. And then we have another part of the lyrics where he says, we're standing in silence of a playing radio. That's a very interesting image to me. The radio is playing. There seems to be music, but you still feel that everything is silent. Another kind of pointer towards depression for me. And then he says, I don't want to dance anymore, but I must dance. And so maybe the I must dance is a bit of a positive spin that maybe he can get out of this dark mood. I think he's also said that it's about the dark winter months. And I think uh, they might be similar in Germany and Lithuania. So I do understand what he means by that. And so overall, I think these are really interesting lyrics. I think if you go deeper into them, there might actually be more to discover. And so I am giving four and a half points because I just think they are explaining a feeling that a lot of people can relate to. Now, the voice, he has a very disengaged tone to his voice, which, of course, works really well with the lyrics that we've just seen. And so it works well with the whole performance, really. And his vocal tone does work with it as well. It seems almost like he's bored while he's singing this. And that's interesting when you look at the lyrics. But the voice itself is nothing to write home about. It's OK, but not outstanding. And so in the end, I decided to give three and a half for the voice. He does sing it well, though, I have to say, with all the dancing he does. Now, for the performance, I think there is a mystery about him. He has this very distinct look. He really draws you in. And you also see this disengagedness in his facial expressions and his whole performance, which also relates to the song and to the feeling that the song projects in a way. But I also think that this mystery that is added because of his very distinct look is really interesting. And then there's also a bit of happiness, a bit of a smile later on. 
Uh, I think after the dance break, and I do like that as well. And so I think because he draws you in like this, I'm giving four and a half points for the performance. Now the staging, which includes the choreo and the lighting, is such a professional staging. I'm really impressed by that. Very interesting color themes like the slower verses are in blue and then the dance break and the chorus are in red so it helps you understand the structure of a song a bit more of the song a bit more it feels like a modern techno club that you're in with all the strobe effects and the lights especially during the dance break there's a bit of an industrial feel to it it kind of reminds me of kraftwerk as well the german band and then, I mean, the shoulderography, I really love that part as well. And the dance break, which kind of works really well. It's not a break as such. It's part of the song and part of the performance. And with the strobe effects, it just gets such a visual impact that is really, really great. And so I think the staging deserves five out of five points. It's kind of almost ready for a Eurovision stage already and will be really impressive. So. Congratulations for that. I'm really, really impressed. Now, for this song, I have to say that it is incredibly catchy. This look, tell, look, tell is just stuck in your head. But that's not the only hook in the song, and that makes it stand out a bit more to me. There is the pre chorus with the shoulderography, which is really impactful as well. And I like that it has a structure, it has the slower verses with the blue lighting, and then the pre chorus and the chorus. It has the dance break. So it has many different parts, but they all kind of blend together into one song. The dance break, as I said, is not a real break and you really notice that something is happening. It really flows with the song and that is really cool. I think the beat is incredibly good as well. It's techno industrial feel. The tempo changes of the beat, just really, really good and modern as well. It sounds really modern. And as I said, it has an industrial feel to it. This could be played at a techno club, I guess, or some other dance club. It's a really danceable song as well. And so I should give this five points, but I have a feeling that I might grow a bit tired of it because it is a little bit repetitive in some places. But still, I'm giving four and a half points. And I think this is a great song for working out, for waking up in the morning, stuff like that. So I can already see myself working out to this song and lots of you as well. Now the song counts three times, the staging twice, and that gives us a total of amazing four and a half points for Sylvester Belt with Look Talk representing Lithuania. Now before I tell you my prediction for how this will do in Eurovision, please subscribe to the channel. I say this all the time. I have lyric interpretations. I have ratings like this one. Just subscribe and I don't have to say this anymore. Okay, please subscribe. Now, let's talk about the qualification possibilities of Lithuania. Will they be making it to the final? Let's look at their qualification rate in the last 10 years. Really good as well, 70% qualification rate. And uh, they have qualified for three years in a row, and they will be in semifinal one in the first half. And when you look at the countries that are there, Poland, Ukraine, Ireland with a huge uh, Lithuanian diaspora as well, who will understand the lyrics of the song and might like it even more than people that don't. I think that Lithuania with a song like this also, which is very televote friendly as well, can do really well and qualify for a fourth year in a row. And then we get to the final. I do think that this is a song that will appeal to the juries because it's professional. It's a pop song in a way with a twist, which they shouldn't dislike too much, I hope, the juries. They usually don't like songs in national languages, but I think in this case, they should like it still. And I think this will do really well with the televote because it is engaging, it is catchy, it has a great staging. And so I think in the end, this will come lower top 10. I can't see it do much more than that because it is a specific sound that might just appeal to a certain part of the audience, but still... I think this will do really, really well, and Lithuania can be really proud of their entry. Now, before I let you go, I also have your votes from the community tab of my channel and some of your comments. And wow, you really love this song, 53%. I think that's a new record. Gave this song five stars, 29% four stars, 13% three stars, 4% two stars, and only 2% 
didn't really like this at all and that really tells you that this is a good entry because i don't think we have had this kind of distribution in a while so well done lithuania once again here are some of your comments we're starting with a few more negative ones Kula 90 says so so overrated the staging was less good to me it's ordinary it would be less overrated as the singer is nothing special okay Esther Higgis, Hicks sorry, says, I don't understand the hype around this entry at all, but I guess everyone has different tastes in music. Yes, we all have different tastes in music, and that is why I love Eurovision, to hear how differently people can react to the same piece of art and the same piece of music. And we see this here again. And Esther continues, and I just happen to dislike it. However, he has an interesting name. So that's cool. Okay, yeah, he does have an interesting name. I thinking it's silver belt but it's sylvester belt i think that's his name in lithuanian i saw the the songwriting credits and he was called i think sylvester belte or something maybe you can explain to us in the comments why that is his name he, maybe he was born on new year's eve or something then we have blobfish 1112 saying three stars i don't hate it and i don't go wow don't understand the five star rating at all again differences in tastes are really interesting and we have 60 Sizzle, a beautiful and very catchy package. First time I heard it, I had it on repeat for days. Great for exercising. Yeah, I said that. Have to say it's worn off a bit for me since then, though. What it lacks to be top tier for me is more of a message and identity. Still five stars and fourth on my storeboard for now. Okay, so it has worn off a bit for her. And I can kind of see that happening for me as well, as I said, because it's a bit repetitive but i think the message part we have talked about it i think it does have a very interesting message to be honest anna kobuk says very danceable song really good song for workout and driving a few of us have said that now i love it's in lithuanian hoping that it stays like this for the contest i would think yes i don't think they will change it i hope not and then heli 888 says it's upbeat it's modern it's catchy it's sung in the national language and it's simply a masterpiece Lithuania came to slay you all, and I can see the top 10 coming. I agree. And then we have ESC Julieta. I just love this. I liked the song before watching Heat 1 and was pleasantly surprised by the staging and the voice quality. He succeeded in what Luke Black couldn't last year. Uh, maybe you can explain that a little bit. Plus, I love the vibe, the energy, and the fashion. Agreed. And he has a very endearing personality, very humble. And it's in Lithuanian. Love when songs are in the language now about the uh i love the vibe the energy and the fashion the fashion i kind of forgot that also adds to the distinctness and this mystery that is around him this thing he has on his nose i kind of forgot mentioning that also really interesting and different and helps you stand out Tage holmquist says this song is a great bundle of energy it's full of hooks the parts flow into each other and the dance breaks are very organic. I agree completely. The lyrics are also great and a lot of people can definitely empathize with feeling like you're lagging behind in life. Five stars, Silvestras. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for your comments. Let me know in the comments what you think of the song, the comments of this video, I mean, how you would rate it, how you understand the lyrics. Maybe I, it's just my interpretation. Maybe there's something completely different that I overlooked. Let me know. Please subscribe and I'll see you for my next video, which might be coming out rather soon. So see you then and bye-bye.